Hey, you shot family! <laughs> um, today is Friday, November 12th, and it is Brad's 25th birthday! <laughs> um, yeah. Yep. Today, yesterday, last night, midnight, I got to play frisbee golf, and then I came home and they surprised me, all my roomies, and they had a little scavenger hunt for me, and I have to wait for my gift. And today, in class, it was awesome, my revival group um, all prophesied over me, gave me words of prophecy, and it was, it, all on oh, it was so good. Yeah. Oh, and tomorrow we're going for sushi, and... We got invited for steak yeah, dinner. Yeah, we're going to a steak dinner. So it's a good birthday. Since we've spoken to you last, it's been a long time. We miss you very much. Yes. Um, we started our outreach. Um, our outreaches are weekly things that we do to help the community. And mine is prophetic arts. Um, what it is is basically a, an extreme treasure hunt, but without the treasure maps. And so um, we just go with art supplies, color pencils, paper, chalk, balloons, any type of creative thing you can think of, um, guitars, you know, singing, and we just find people to bless. And so last week, I actually no, I went out with my small group another day on our on one of our days off, um, because it's just so easy to do and to love people, just to go there because people come up to you and you'd be surprised how God speaks to you. And so I just wrote Dave on a um, piece of paper, all folded up, and as you unfold it, you could read, He is your joy and your strength. He knows your name and He loves you. And so I was, went down, up and down Sundial Bridge looking for Dave, and um, I was kind of getting discouraged because I walked all the way down and all the way back, and then finally when I almost got back, a guy in all black came up um, behind me on a bike, and I was like, are you Dave? And he started to slow down, he was like, <laughs> yeah, and I was like, oh, and I was so excited, I was like, you're my treasure, this is for you, and he just accepted, it was really awesome. And then my outreach is Saturday Community Feast where we get to go out and serve food to the poor in the city. Um, some places they actually like live week to week in motels, sometimes they're homeless, sometimes they're not. Um, we really get to just meet them where they're at and honor them um, as God's you know, people and uh, minister and just hang out with them and they really appreciate just you know someone listening to them. And actually as a testimony, there was a woman who was um, not really a believer and we just asked the presence um, of the Holy Spirit to come, and it rocked her. She had no idea what it was, uh -huh. but she's like, this feels so good. Uh -huh. And she got drunk. She just got handled on the Holy the Spirit. Spirit. It was amazing. <laughs> it was. Oh, I don't know, but it sounds amazing. <laughs> um, this, since we spoke to you last. Oh, also, we have to tell you, we're coming home December 18th oh, yeah. through January 3rd. And... We're really excited. We would miss you a lot. And um, my mom, hi mom, um, is coming on Wednesday to Next come week. see us. And we're so excited to have her. It's going to be a blast. So she's going to get all filled up and she's going to leak out all over you when she comes home. But um, we had breakthrough on October 21st, 2010. I remember it because it was a shift in the atmosphere. We had awesome breakthrough with me and Brad. We had breakthrough with our roommates and covenant relationships. We had um, revelation, crazy revelation on all the Christian hot topics like salvation and um, forgiveness and, and faith and all this awesome stuff. It was mm -hmm. just great. Yeah, that same day, um, Danny Silk taught on covenant relationship, oh, and it really just blew our minds and our roommates, too. And we decided then and there to um, decide to live in covenant um, and really make a decision to... Um, to live that way with one another. One thing I really liked was um, he shared that, you know, how our family members know our buttons and they know what buttons to press to, to bother us. Of course not. Not you, Brad. <laughs> but uh, anyway, he said that you should only have one button, and that's the love button, and that um, my love button is always on. That's what he said. <laughs> so um, I thought that was really cool. Yeah. And then uh, we are going on a mission trip in March. Yep, we know where we're going. We're going to L.A. for Hope for the Homeless. Mm -hmm. um, we're really excited. I think that we get to go to um, Skid Row, which is mm -hmm. actually kind of where they pick up people like drunks or homeless people on the streets. They basically, cops just go to Skid Row and dump them, and that's just where they dump all the So that's where they kind of hang out. Trash. And their home, where they right. make home, and it's 
it's an awesome place to just bring bring God and bring the light in in a dark place. So we don't know that much about it, but we know that we're going to be ministering to um, to God's treasures. Mm-hmm. So we're really excited about that. That's going to be the end of March. I think March twenty eighth through April fourth. So you can pray for that for us um, and it support us in that way. Uh, and instead of doing prayer requests this week, we want to give testimonies. Um, we have months. some crazy testimonies from school. They're not actually like our testimonies, but they are because co- corporate testimonies are our testimonies too, and they're your testimonies now too. Yep. So um, there was a oh, testimony. Oh, and we learned uh-huh. that testimony means God do it again. Oh, yeah, that's cool. And that's we it. also learned that keeping a record of testimonies is just as, what's this, just as important as? I don't know. Oh, I don't remember. Really, it it's really important, though, to keep track of the testimonies. It's in my notes, I promise. It was so long ago that we learned that. But anyway, it's really important to keep track of your testimonies. Um, super important. Oh, I think they said it's as important as keeping the commandments. Anyway. Um, but the testimony is someone in our <laughs> revival group found a gem. He's actually our intern, and he's actually from Michigan. His name is Grant. Yes. I held the gem in my hand. If you go on Facebook, tag videos of me. Yes. You can see it, and it's awesome. And then also on my profile, I shared an awesome testimony of a woman getting out of a wheelchair. Yes. And that was also a girl. The girl sharing isn't the girl in our revival group, but the girl she went out with, Johanna, is in our revival group. So um, we knew the girl who saw it happen, and it's really awesome. There's just been, oh, we get testimonies every day in school. I just yeah. can't even. It's a very important part. You know, we want to see what God's doing, and they know that it's just encouraging for people, you know, throughout the days. So we want to give you joy (laughs) and love, and we'll see you soon. We love you. Bye, guys. Bye.